Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Anyways, this video to me is kind of fairly in an experiment. Um, the corals right now don't look too great because of me doing my finicking upon this experiment. Um, see, I don't know if you guys remember, I had an old Aquatic Life uh, T5 fixture. And uh, I've been thinking and thinking and thinking and thinking to see if I actually have the guts because I am not an electrician and I do not know what I am doing when it comes to wiring. But see if I have the guts to uh, take that, uh, that light fixture apart and see what I have and what can I do with it in order to fit into my canopy with my PAR38 bulbs. In a few seconds you're going to see where I turn off the part 38 bulbs and it's just the four bulb of T5. Now the constant turn on and off has, uh, like I said, has made the corals a little finicky but it's because I'm doing this now. Um, and now you're going to see bulb, all of them lights on and right now these are just the part 38 bulbs without the T5. Okay, and the reason why I kind of figured I could do this or get away with this is because, in my opinion, based of where I've placed some of my, uh, or most of my SPS corals, is actually in a line in the very middle of the cube and the rock structure. And as you can see, um, to the left is actually on the front of the cube which is a purple plus, a blue plus, and then in the back is a blue plus, and then is a, a tinic. Um, now, I did my best in terms of wiring this up and a safety point as well. Um, I did my best, I'm confident that I did it right. The only thing is that all T5s turn on by the same time. Now, I needed some help, I got my advice, and I was told that it wouldn't be too bad if all four bulbs was to turn on at the same time. Because I can acclimate them, and then give it a different intensity or duration for all the combination of the LEDs and T5s all together and that they would uh, do just fine in time. So as you can see, I'm just kind of directing where all my SPS is at. And it's literally in a focus line where my part 38 are actually uh, focused. So I believe also this might help me in terms of better growth. Um, like I've said this entire time, I do not complain about these part 38 bulbs. They have done great. Um, thriving, 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 I can't say no. I don't believe they have the actual power to thrive, thrive to the fullest potential like, uh, you know, a Radeon Pro or, you know, Aqua Illumination or anything like that because they are part 38s and they're fairly cheap. But. I believe now that with this combination of T5 and these part 38 bulbs, I can get better results. Um, but like I said, as you can see the coils right now, they don't look too happy right now because I'm turning on, turning off the lights and this and that. But I am going to do what, um, what I was told to do, just acclimate them for a few weeks and then, you know, give it more intensity and give it more time which that would be the intensity because I do not have intensity control with these par 38s they just turn on and off so that person made sense and I'm going to give it a try um, I believe this really might work now my other question would be is would those actual T5 bulb uh, colors would be the ideal since I have the par 38s and they do have their own spectrum as well. Um, if I stick with the uh, Itinic two blue plus and one purple plus, 
or should I go with all four blue plus or should I go with uh, a Tinic blue plus in the back and then blue plus and core plus in the front I would like a little input and a little advice on that um, I am not an expert when it comes to lighting as you can see my entire reefing experience has been based on cheap fixtures I have results this is my results as you can see this is this is all I got this is the best these lights has been able to do but by themselves so my next experiment is how they all do together and uh, see where I go see where I get from there um, are these par 38s really you know lacking in the which of thriving to the to the exponent that I am seeing growth day at a day at a day at a day now my growth in terms of this cube in the entire time that I've had these part today bulbs it's not been great in terms of fantastic like most of you guys but even though they are growing slow they're not just living okay I mean as you can you can see by your own eyes these uh, these these corals has grown but in a much slower rate I don't dose all I do is weekly water changes that's it uh, my protein skimmer which I gave you a review in my last video and my chato does my filtration plus the plus the rock structure and that's it that's that's my entire setup that's all you see that's because that's all I got um, but I would like a little more input from you guys maybe you guys can give me some tips some pointers this and that for this experiment if overall all of this does not work then I'll invest deep on better fixture take care guys